And what's up guys, Average Tech Guy here, and today we're gonna to be talking about expandable memory for your new iPhone 11. Let's check it out. So with the addition of iOS 13, we now have expandable memory capabilities on this phone. What do I mean by this? Well, any of these, SSD and SSD, will now work. Now this is five, 500 gigs, 500 gigs, 500 gigs. 500 extra gigs of storage that you can possibly now use with your new iPhone. So if you went out and bought the 64 gigabyte version like I did, and you have one of these laying around with movies, um, songs, uh, documents, folders, anything that you have on here will work. But we're just gonna take one, and this is the uh, SanDisk. But we're just gonna take one, this is the SanDisk, and I'm gonna show you guys how this will actually work. Now you cannot just plug this in to your iPhone because your iPhone is lightning uh, capable. This is USB type C. So you're going to need an adapter. Here we go. The Apple, official Apple, now don't go out and buy the third parties. I've done reviews on those, I'll link them below. They don't work. You need the official Apple US, USB Camera Kit 3. This is what you need. Has USB-A and Lightning. So your Lightning is going to power this right here. USB-A is going to go right in here round back and sorry that I can't just show you, but there we go, USB-A and lightning. I got my power source way in the back back there. And then you're going to plug this into your SSD. Now this works with any of those SS the SSD that I just showed you, but if you want me to do separate reviews on these two, just leave comments below. I'll do a review and show you how fast they are and, and what and whatnot. But um, for this review, I'm gonna be using just the SanDisk Extreme Portable. So move this out of the way. I'm gonna now plug this in. Remember, you have to have a power source. And before this will actually work, you're going to have to update your iPhone, guys. So there's an update that you're going to have to do. It's gonna, it's gonna come on the screen. It's gonna allow you to update it. It's gonna do that and you're gonna be good. So once you get this plugged up, you're gonna now go into your file section and right there, Extreme SSD is now showing up. So anything that I have on this, right here, had it out here, but it's over here now. Anything that I have on here is now showing up right here. So I have a movie folder, but I don't have any movies on there. Uh, but I do have a YouTube folder. So all of my videos that I make, I kind of store in this folder. Uh, let's take this one, for instance. If you want to watch it, you can stream it directly from here. Let's make sure we got volume. What's up guys, Average Tech Guy here. Today we are back with another review. This time we're gonna be looking at My Passport Ultra. This is the USB Type-C hard drive solution for iPad OS. There we go. So if you wanna stream it directly from the source, you can do that. If you wanna <laughs> save the video, I don't wanna save the video, let's go out. Okay, so if we, if we wanna bring it over, you're gonna hit select, you're gonna hit the video. And it's gonna ask us where do we wanna save it at? We're gonna go here on my phone. I'm gonna hit copy. And it may take just a moment. The uh, download speed or the read speed is about 550 megabytes per second on this particular drive right here, which is pretty fast. I haven't had too much complaint about sending things to a device. It's the process of sending it back from the device to the actual SSD itself is where I had the uh, long wait. Now, it normally takes about a minute or so. This video, this file is about a gigabyte and a half. So it's probably gonna take about a minute or, or, or a minute and a half, somewhere around there, between a minute and a minute and a half. That's normally about the time it takes to send from here to there coming back normally takes about an extra 30 seconds or so, but they all work. Trust me, it all works. Uh, just like I said, it's, it's still moving, circle is still going, but I guarantee you it's gonna 
Okay, so let's go out and go back to my phone. And there it is. So now it's showing on my phone. And same quality. Let's. What's up, guys? Average Tech Guy here. Today we are back with another review. Turn this screen. time we're going to be looking at same my quality, Ultra. no lag, USB no nothing. Type C hard drive solution. It poured it right over. No issues. Took about a minute and a half, like I said, but no issues whatsoever. So if you went out and bought one of the lower gigabyte versions of the iPhone 11, this is iPhone 11, two cameras on the back, iPhone 11, iOS 13 is on here, pre-installed. It comes with it. You're going to go out and buy one of these adapters right here, and then you're going to be set. So I have all my movies, things of that nature right here. I, now, one of these does have actual movies on it. You can watch the movie directly from here, just like I showed you on here. No issues whatsoever. And this is the SanDisk. It comes in four configurations. You get 250, 500 gigabytes, as well as one terabyte and two terabyte. It comes with a USB to USB type C to USB A connector, as well as a USB to USB connector. So you can't go wrong either way. As long as you have this adapter, this camera kit three, it's gonna run you about 30 bucks. You're gonna need that. You got that, you plug into your iPhone, you're good to go. Unlimited storage awaits you guys. So hopefully this has been able to help someone out. I'll drop a link below so you can check this out for yourself. But until next time, be sure and give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe. Average Tech Guy out. Peace.